Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today what we're going to be working on is the wall. Uh, we're probably going to do this section right here and bring it all the way up to this part. Um, we'll get the part in here all sorted out and stuff like that. We might even want to replace some of the arches. I'm not sure just yet. Uh, at least the supporting parts, like these parts, we might want to replace as well. Um, just to make sure that everything is set up and secure. Uh, we're going to have to remove some of the marlins and uh, get that uh, ordered because there has been some changes with the um, how they function. Uh, settlers can actually walk on top of these now for some reason. I'm not sure if this is a bug, but before you had to kind of lift it over and it had this decoration, so it seemed like it was designed that way. But now I'm not sure because it might be a bug because of that, but it's hard to tell. Um, but I don't know. We'll um, try to get that front part all sorted out with uh, bricks today and then we'll work on some other stuff. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there was, we, I did notice last episode that we did fix that um, issue with the barn here. Um, there was, this was actually coming into the stairs and that was counting as the upper part as well. So what I ended up doing was I ended up building the door first and then the stairs and that seemed to register it as a separate room. So, um, yeah, just if you run into the same issue with it, uh, counting the stairs and stuff, that's how you can basically fix it. Just make sure to replace the door and, um before you place the stairs down and stuff like that and that seems to work at least that worked for me i'll probably try doing that with the other barns as well because we still have this one over here that needs to be sorted out and stuff moved and stuff like that so i'll probably try doing that um later but uh, i want to make sure that we got uh people to do the crafting and stuff moving all that fun stuff so what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we have enough bricks here we have 128 um, are we making more? Okay, we do have some bricks already made here. We have them set to f make 500, so... I think it only costs like 5 per wall piece, so we should be able to move, uh, break some of these down. So we'll see how this can turn out. Okay, so he's a builder. Yeah, so we're just going to remove some of these parts and then we'll uh, take it from there. Okay, North is going to apparently do that.
right, so <clears throat> it's actually very expensive to uh, upgrade this wall. I got like I'm working on two segments right now, and um, we've gone through a lot of uh, bricks already. So <laughs> it's got, we're going to need a lot more clay, that's for sure. Um, so we're probably going to have to mine out all that for sure, and possibly even buy bricks when we can. Um, I have 20 made already, and I'm not sure how this is going. It's about halfway. We might even want to place down a, another one of these just to get that sorted out. I know it'll cost us a little bit of uh, clay and stuff, but it might be beneficial. That way we can get like 40 going at a time. So, 50 clay, that's not too bad to uh, build another one of those. Alright, so yeah, hopefully we can get this section done today. Um, we might even try for the section over here. And I'm going to be replacing the wind floor with bricks as well. So if there's any chance that flammable stuff comes on top of here, it will um, be protected, right? So at least that's the goal. Uh, we don't actually need that there. We can just destroy that. But, uh, yeah, the parts underneath the wood that we already installed, we can keep that there. It's not going to be a huge issue with the layout of that. But um, making sure that we have all the um, top part where if there's anything like flame arrows or anything like that that gets added, then at least we'll be protected on the surface. That's the most important part, right? Just making sure that people up there can take care of that but um, yeah so once we get that in I'm also going to just do arches like this that should give it enough stability between to um, build a wall and stuff like that so and I'm reinforcing the door I might actually work on the door part um, today as well and we'll see if we can't get that part situated as that's a pretty important part of the structure and we'll work on these two sections, I think. And so, I mean, we're mostly there. I just need to kind of branch it out. I am going to remove the roof and everything as well and just start from scratch. Uh, we're going to expand the part that goes over a little bit more too. Um, not sure if I actually want these here more than I think about it. We might want to um, replace, the, replace those with Marlins. Yeah, I think we'll do that with the Marlins. Okay, how much bricks do we have left? 50.
All right, so we we got that whole section done. Um, we got some bricks left over, so we can start working on the door section. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Like the detail work on the wall here looks really good. Might even add some banners on the exterior, just to decorate it a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if they're flammable or not. Probably going to be, but um, we could always do a little bit of decoration and stuff. We get we produce a lot of linen, so it's not like we can't produce a little bit. So something like that might look really good. And we'll do that for each segment. And we're going to need to start putting the bricks in here. So we're going to just tell them to chop all this down. And we're on day 12 of winter, so most likely this is the last day we're going to be able to um, do that. Do this before um, raids and stuff happen. So I'm going to want to kind of speed this process up a little bit faster because... We're going to need to make sure that this is all built and stuff uh, for spring when we start to get those raids again. So uh, I'm going to just kind of decorate it a little bit too, like have these edges a little bit like that. And I don't think we actually need the part here for the wood. It's not like anyone's going to be walking on it per se, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we will need to put the rest of the bricks in though. Yeah, so once we get this part done, we'll start working on the uh, roof part of that. And then we have like one small section here, and then I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for the corner pieces. Um, there isn't any corner roofs yet, so... <laughs> It would be nice if there was, but uh, currently we don't have any. So we're going to have to come up with a solution for that. Or maybe towers or something, I'm not sure. Uh, just kind of blend it in a little bit more, but we'll see what we can come up with. And, you know, I've been just telling people to uh, go ahead and produce these as much as, like, when there's stuff to produce I tell them to go over here and do it doesn't matter who it is just somebody so we get more bricks and um, we're running a little bit low on clay so we're gonna have to start working on that but Alright, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. I got them to plant the barley and the cabbage. Those cabbages still being planted. Just a little bit though. And uh, we're 
got that one section done uh, for the door and the wall pieces here so I'm pretty happy how it turned out we'll still need to figure out something for the uh, the corner part I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with that just yet might build a tower might not I'm not sure just yet but um, still trying to figure out what I need to do be to fix this roof issue because we'll eventually have parts right here and there that the roof will just kind of stop because there isn't any corner pieces but um, on the inside that's basically what it looks like um, still wood on the below wooden roof and wooden supports on the top but I'm trying to save as much um, bricks as possible for continuing the wall and stuff like that because it does take a lot of bricks to just build one section so we need to kind of preserve some stuff that isn't as necessary like having a wooden roof if that burns that's okay because the rest of the building's fine but you know just working on things like that anyhow uh just a quick announcement uh, we do have uh, i do have a discord server if, so if you're interested and want to hang out with the rest of the community uh for my channels and stuff you can definitely go down into the description and click on the discord page it'll bring you to my website and you can join through the website page there um outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out